The streets of Egypt's second city, Alexandria, were almost deserted last night as a curfew came into effect, just one element of a state of emergency that's due to last a month. The only vehicles out on the streets belong to the security services who've dealt decisively with any opposition. In Cairo, the camps of the Muslim Brotherhood burned. The government said the protests had been eliminated and no more would be allowed. It was an operation carried out at great cost. The government said more than 40 policemen were killed, hundreds of protesters died. The wounded and the bodies of the dead were taken to makeshift hospitals. In a speech to the nation, the Prime Minister Hazem El Beblawi said the authorities had to act to stop the spread of anarchy. He said matters had reached a point that no self-respecting state could accept. The government said its security forces had been fired on and reacted in kind. In Suez, this protester appeared to be shooting at the police. Another man seemed to be loading a gun. In Alexandria, a bizarre drama was played out, emblematic of the deep divisions in Egypt. A Morsi supporter, attacked by his enemies, took to the sea to escape. A victim of the violence? No, said his opponents. He was a gunman who'd earlier been shooting at them. What happened to him isn't known. Andy Moore, BBC News.